Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam in mabad. Ayya lahabati fillah. Continuing on in our reading of encouraging harmony and wisdom and da'wah and warning from discord. And in that title, it's very explicit about very important aspects of da'wah in Allah, of calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Encouraging harmony. Because when you call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you want to encourage them. And you want to encourage them with what? With harmony. Harmony and, 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 and getting along with one another. And there should be some cohesiveness. Encouraging harmony and wisdom in da'wah. So that you're encouraging this ta'awan, this cooperation, and this harmony. As well as having hikmah, wisdom, in calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, all throughout the Quran. Allah bi mo'idha wa hikmah. You know, call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with beautiful preaching and wisdom. And a part of that call is warning against discord. Meaning to warn against those things which break apart that unity, which break apart that harmony in calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Break apart the jama'ah. Break the people into sects, into groups. <clears throat> and new ahzab, you know, hizbiya. To form new Manahij, new methodologies, which cause the ummah to break. When you think that you're making a new group that is calling to one aspect of the religion, in fact, you're calling away. While you are encouraging one aspect, you're pulling away from the jama'at, from the main body. And to make a similitude is as if I have my fist here. And when I want something new, when this thumb departs from the rest of my fingers, yes, it's calling to something. Yes, it, 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 it's something, it has its unique features. But it's broken away from the rest of the hand, so to speak. And that's just uh, a, sim, uh, a symbol to that when you start a new his, mashallah, the birds are <laughs> enjoying themselves. When you start a new his, a, a new way of calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are innovating in the asal, in the foundation of the religion, and you're breaking away from the jama'ah. And the Prophet sallallahu ordered us to stick with the jama'ah. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa warned against breaking into sects and groups, and prophesied that that would be the case for us. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم افتركت اليهود على إثنة وسبعين فرقة وافتركت النصارى على إثنتين وسبعين فرقة وستفترك هذه الأمة على ثلاثة وسبعين فرقة كلها في النار الواحدة قلنا من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان على مثل ما كان عليه وأصحابي The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the Jews will break into seventy one sects the Christians into seventy two sects and my Umm into seventy three sects all of them in the fire except one they said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, <clears throat> those are upon those whom are those who are upon what I'm upon and my companions, letting us know that we have to stick to the main jama'ah. And that is the understanding of the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'in and the asl of the Jama'ah. The asl of where Ahlus Sunnah Ahl Sunnah to came from is from the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They formed the asl of the jama'ah getting back to the treaties the sheikh said talking about having strong iman and that by doing this type of da'wah and following these principles that he mentioned which are principles from the kitab wa sunnah of having uh, being gentle and kind with one another he says uh, so it is upon you to follow these good ways and it is upon you to be serious about knowledge. As it is upon you to be serious about giving da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So da'wah is a serious thing. This is why, although I do 
in, in my dawa, I like to come out in the wilderness, mashallah, and see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. Uh, mashallah, the lake is frozen. This is something uh, beautiful if you were able to actually see this and be here. It, it's fantastic and it's fascinating. And it's a part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful creation. And it helps me to remember my Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. But that does not take away from being serious about dawa. So what we want to avoid is just that entertainment dawa, those things which cause you to compromise the principles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen. For example, excessive joking and excessive, uh, it's okay to joke sometimes and, 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 and enjoy <clears throat> and, and take a lighter side and to, to reach out to the youth and so forth, but you want to make sure that you're keeping the focus that this this endeavor of da'wah in Allah is, is, is uh, serious. And it's it should be sincere. And may Allah bless us with that. The Shaykh then said, And I will advise you, O brothers, with two things. The first is that you have brotherhood amongst all of the people of the Sunnah. Allahu Akbar. And I just received something uh, from one of our brothers. Uh on one of the, the, the programs, and he, he was telling me the latest news about some discord between some of our ulama. And some of our major scholars have, uh, you know, refuted some possible mistakes of, of, uh, of, uh, of another ma uh, scholar, major scholar of ours, of Akhla Sunnah. And the point being is that <clears throat> we should avoid discord. And that doesn't mean you should be ignorant and unaware of those things, especially as a student of knowledge or someone calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a da'i. However, but to engage the people with every new fitna, then you will never study. You won't have time to practice hardly anything if you engage the people and indulge the people in every single refutation, every single... Uh, aspect of discord between Ahlul Sunnah. So we have to be careful. So the Sheikh was encouraging us to have ta'awun, to cooperate with Ahlul Sunnah. And I will advise you, O oh brothers, of two things. The first is that you have brotherhood amongst all of the people of the Sunnah. Don't break into groups and sects and say, this, these guys are with this masjid, these guys are with this masjid, when in fact their ulama are the same. The ulama are from Ahl Sunnah, and they are calling the Kitab al Sunnah. Maybe they have some mistakes. Maybe you have some mistakes, but correct one another. But don't spend all of your time hating and and call, getting in, entertain, uh, indulging the youth in in hating one another and having enmity, more enmity for one another that are on the same minhaj, basically. Then you have for those people who have uh, uh, deviated in totality in their creed, in their aqidah. And this is what we see. If you go to some of the websites, you'll see that they have five, six, seven refutations of du'at that call the kitab wa sunnah that are known to the ulama. And I won't mention names, but I'll, I'll just say we've seen it countless times. New videos. So-and-so did a lecture here. So-and-so he did this. So-and-so he's part of the nation of Islam now. So-and-so, you know, all kind of ridiculous claims to people who are known. If they're not known to you, they're known to the ulama. Sitting and translating and sitting with the ulama. Getting high advanced degrees. Min fadlillah. That doesn't mean that you're guided because you get a high degree. But the point is, Allah has favored them. What has Allah favored you with? And you just criticize and attack people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored. Allah is raising them in darajat. But what about yourself? So don't spend your time attacking Ahlul Sunnah. The first is that you have brotherhood amongst all of the people of the Sunnah. Amongst all of Ahlul Sunnah, the Salafis. Spread love between you and brotherhood. Establish what the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called to because the believers are like a building that strengthens itself. Al Muslim kil uh, al Muslim akhul Muslim. You Al Muslim kil bunyan. The the Muslim, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the Muslim to another Muslim is like a building or a structure. It strengthens one another. You know those parts. It strengthens one another. 
And that's what a, like a, a structure does. It's built of, a, for example, if you have a house, it's built of a concrete foundation, perhaps, uh, or a brick foundation, maybe. Uh, then it has framing, wood framing. Then it has drywall, and it has uh, uh, all kind of things, that components, which strengthen one another to make that house. Likewise, the mu'min should be strengthened with one another to build the, the ummah. They are like one brothers. If a part of it complains or is sick or is harmed, the rest of the body has a fever. Be like this, O brothers, and stay away from everything that leads to separation, because by a law it is a dangerous evil. And stay away from things that lead to hatred and separation, alienation, because these days it has spread. It is spread through the land, through the hands of people whom Allah Tabarak wa Taala knows their state and their intention. It is spread and tore apart the youth in this country and all over the world. Don't we see that? Look at the UK. The UK is full. This is not to single out and point out, but the UK is a small country full of sects and full of Hezbiyah. And the brothers, the brothers from Ahl Sunnah, some of them, they hate one another. Some of the things they, they say about one another and it's publicized all over the net, they are happy and pleased when one of their brothers is harmed. That some of the things, you know, are amazing. Some of the things I've read and heard myself, amazing. And attacking and cursing one another and attacking each other's honor. They're pleased. What is this? So you have to question. Allah knows their intention. If those people are truly sincere, or are they spies upon the da'wah? Are they people who really hate, and are they of the hypocrites? That is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to decide. But we see some evil traits sometimes from our brothers and sisters, and they need and we need to correct ourselves. And stay away from the things that lead to hatred and separation and alienation, because these days it has spread. It has spread through the hands of people whom Allah wa ta'ala knows their state and their intention. It spread and it tore apart the youth in this country and all over the world. Why? Because people who are not qualified to give da'wah, and are not from the people of da'wah, uh, neither are they from the people of knowledge, nor are they from the people of understanding. These people are giving da'wah. May Allah bless you. Barakallah fikum. It is possible that they are enemies hidden amongst the Salafis. Those who would separate them and tear them apart. This does not surprise me, and it is very possible. May Allah bless you. Allahu Akbar. Look at that wisdom of the Shaykh, and we have seen it carried out over years. Years and years and years. There are some people that they spend only their time tearing apart the Salafis. Tearing apart Ahl Sunnah. Belittling the du'at of Ahl Sunnah. Destroying the honor of Ahl Sunnah. That's, that's all they do. There are people like this. You, you've, and it's well known. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.